him and I'm at it again The crystal arrow calling my name Down a gravel road, box full of fur And a mystery in the next deal were Catching the first made me a believer What a day, guys. What a season. Uh, let's see, we got a little bit more snow last night. Uh, I feel better this morning than I did last night. Uh, I was I was hurting yesterday pretty good. Um, turns out, I did test positive for the big C. So, it is what it is. Uh, but, I don't know. I'm not saying I slept it off, but I feel a lot better today than I did last night. Yesterday, I just feel like someone just hit me at the train. I was just exhausted, but slept a solid nine hours last night and woke up feeling pretty good, so. Well, the things are slow would be an understatement, guys. Uh, I knew this line, I knew this weather was coming. I knew it would really impact things uh, in a very bad way. So we snapped off or pulled probably a third of the line yesterday. Uh, the rest of it's getting snapped off today. This is only the second coon we've caught. And we're halfway through the day of what's left probably. So very slow and I knew it was coming. Uh, it's crazy, high weather. I was trapping in a cutoff on opening day a week and a half ago. Now it's 24 degrees with 15 mile an hour winds out of the Northwest. There's actually drifting snow I drove through earlier. So the coon movement is done right now. Uh, next week though, it's going to be a lot better, a lot better. Mid 40s for a high, mid 20s for a low. Really looking forward to that. We're going to reset the good spots and set a whole bunch of fresh ground. Uh, but until then, you know, it's time to get some other stuff done in the shop, get cleaned up, kind of regroup, um, get ready for the, the next, next quarter. I mean, it may be a very, very slow day, uh, which I'm okay with. But what is good? We have yet to go a day without a skunk. Uh, we're actually not too far from a house right up here. Just a good little spot. Uh, I did see some tracks here. Looks like a fox or something ran down this trail as well. So uh, probably lucky he's still down here, but still picking up a few before we snap everything off today. I thought we might've had a catch here. I pulled up and there's a big old eagle sitting in this tree and I was like, uh oh. But no, that's a nice big coon here. Uh, just about ready to be done for the day, snapping everything off about 11.30 noon. Uh, I actually don't feel too bad right now. I got a sore throat and I'm still tired, but otherwise I'm doing all right. Uh, just ready to be done pulling this, get kind of rested up, recuperate, uh, you know, get past this big C and move on. Well, we got a smaller one here. Uh, not very big, but that's all right. Uh, this marks 500 for me. I was hoping we'd just catch a few today to at least get to 500. So uh, we did it at least uh, the first quarter of my line or first quarter of the season, I should say that I'll be running. Uh, we hit 500, so that's good. We got plenty of fresh ground yet uh, once we hit that warm up again next week. But right now, pull and snap everything and uh, hopefully chase some muskrats around. But I wish it was bigger for number 500, but I am not going to be picky. Just glad to make it. Oh, well, well. We're just about ready to end the day. And what a way to finish. And with a double. This is actually the freshest stuff I've got out. Uh, three traps here and picked up a double. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, put six coon for the day. <laughs> uh, I knew it would be bad, guys. I knew it would be pretty rough um it's just you know this this snow this temperature coming they're not gonna move um they're pretty well done until we get some warm weather coming which will be sunday or monday so we're not done yet we're just snapping things off for now uh like i said regroup a little bit catch my breath and get ready for phase two well we didn't make it very far again uh, you can see the trail going down there past him in the snow uh just a feed cattle feed lot corn on the other side uh 
actually at the head of this little draw here right in there it's an old pond we used to get a couple coveys of quail off that every year uh take two or three birds out of the covey and just let them be uh i just had a lot of fun bird hunting that property but that's besides the point we're coon trapping right now well kind of uh this puts seven and back the truck so it's slow guys but like i said it's part of it really glad i set this piece uh this was just kind of one of those quick little add-ons we did here two days ago uh it's a great late season location so you got the big big bottoms down here a uh, bunch of government ground they're coming up and in the winter when you get a lot of snow during breeding season you'll see trails going from tree to tree uh just looking for sows in these these den trees so uh, glad to be picking one up here today but we'll definitely be here uh, late season as well this day just keeps surprising me more and more and more uh, it's down to 23 degrees and about 15 20 mile an hour winds out of the northwest it is cold and it's going to get colder but we're still picking up a few as we're snapping things off uh, we're actually going to reset a few of these just so i have a few traps to check tomorrow I can't picture a day actually just not checking a trap during season, at least right now. That is a big coon, by the way. That thing is huge. But we're going to get him taken care of. We've got about another 15 stops and uh, time to get headed home. We filmed this the other day, just that little thicket here uh, with nothing else around it. Going to beans on the other side. This is the second coon we've taken off of it. I really don't understand this line. Uh, we got a double here, coon in 220. Another one here at Dog Proof. You can just see the top of those trees where that little that little thicket was where we just caught that big coon. Uh, it's crazy. This stuff that's halfway fresh actually produced pretty well last night. I'm pretty shocked. Uh, just <laughs> unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Last coon of the day. And he's a big, big dark coon. Uh, the end of this line is really blown up. I'm really surprised by that. But like I said, you never know when it's going to be really good and, you know, it's just when it's going to be bad. Uh, we had four coon through the first probably 80% of this line and now we're up to nine or ten just in this last 20%. And this stuff's been out for nine days, I think. So really good stuff. Really good. Just going over here to corn. That's all it is. This is big mature timber cutting back to corn. Get him taken care of and uh, get headed home. 